So we've been very happy with the Tau Empire cards, so we decided to splurge and do one of the $50 bundles, mainly because the sleeves are really cool. And so we have 30 packs to open. Uh, we haven't technically really played since the Alpha, but the Tau played really well, and uh, I'm a big fan of their ability to drop drones and do large amounts of damage. So let's see what we get. Okay, so stealth, party target, party targets pretty okay. You probably only want one though, to be honest. And we already got one from the reward track. Marksman, we already have plenty of marksmen. priority target might be able to forge it yeah we could definitely forge it now we have four of them okay burgeoning empire we did want a second one of that because that is a good one for a rare because two copies definitely seems stable in the drone deck alone creature holds another creature Hey, we got an epic, so we got our second battle suit early before the second copy on the reward track. So we definitely slot that into the deck. And another technological supremacy, which is of course extra. Strike teams, try spotty guard and a storm surge. I think storm surge costs too much. And the drone deck is really aggressive, and I think it's easily the strongest deck. Mainly because this guy is absolutely stupid. Five health is a lot to take out on three, and it's just very hard to beat when one or more of these comes out and snowballs behind him. Ooh, we got legendary. Okay, we got Dark Strider. Stealth 3 3 3. Give stealth to adjacent drones. So that's already really good. And then at the start of your turn, you get the talent to make Structural Analyzer, which gives uh, Marker Light 2 to an enemy. And that says any enemy. So it doesn't just say troops. You could give it to your opponent's uh, Warlord, and you can just keep stacking them as long as this guy is out. And since you're guaranteed at least one because of the stealth, that guy seems like really strong in every single Tau deck. Like, easy staple. And we still have 23 packs to go. Hammerhead, cool. I think Hammerhead costs too much. Like, I'm not a big fan of a lot of the vehicles. A lot of the vehicles, they just cost too much. They don't feel worth it. Epic! Stealth Battle Suit. I don't have one. It's 3 melee, 5 range, 4 and 4. Uh, so that's pretty good. It does have stealth, and I do like playing everything with stealth in here. So your uh, vanguards and your stealth units, they get to do that. Stealth giving you the talent to come for free, which gives you deploy a crisis battle suit and give it flank. Crisis battle suit, uh, like it costs four, but if you play this in four, so you already have four mana or four uh, resource. And crisis battle suit with flank can hit them in for four and that is good because uh, there isn't a lot of flank in the Tau. You're mostly relying on that consistent damage from the gun drones and the DSA. And starting right immediately, the second copy of Dynamic Offensive, which uh, works with the battle suits, gives them flank. Which, as I just said, flank being the hard part, so you do have chances because it always draws troops getting things to have flank another epic we have iron va which is uh one of the warlords we did not have gives health to your warlord and adjacent units and then makes a copy of serene unifier which gives you an invocation and it costs one less empire and creature Children friendly unit might actually be viable to a degree. Crown sweep, 
Another marksman. Battle suit. 18 packs to go. And we got a stealth room. Usually I only like stealth room when I get into three. I don't know if it's worth the card with two health. And another command commander Omisos. Cool. So 16 packs, 15 packs, so this is halfway done. And we got another legendary, one we do not have. We got honored ethereal shield. Adjacent troops have a vanguard. Five melee, three range, five health, which is very strong, and a four drop. And it gives us a serene unifier every turn, which gives us those invocations and costing one less. So, very good. Definitely a staple legendary as well. Another bodyguard. Bow suit. Hammerhead. Onslaught. We still have 13 packs left, too. And we got two legendaries off of it. Marker Drone. Ooh. Storm of Fire. I do not have this one. This one's really good. Three mana. Give ranged attack plus two to your units this turn. Which is very strong with Marker Lights. So that definitely would slot into the drone deck. Just makes a lot of little dudes. Okay, we got a Pathfinder, which is really good. He has the Rally, give Marker Light 2 to an enemy troop. He can Companion to get some Marker Drones. He's only a 2-drop, so it's very easy to go, like, uh, turn two, turn 1, make the uh, make a drone. Turn 3, your drones cost 1 less spell. Then play Pathfinder, drop 2 Marker Drones. It's very strong. Technological Supremacy. And... We are close to the reward path to getting our second copy of that epic. Ooh, another epic. And that is our second Relentless Fuselide. We did actually uh, pull one in a previous pack set that we did not show. But so, definite staple. Deal two to all enemies for four. And then two additional for each enemy with Marker Light. So, uh, you use the one cost spell to give all enemy troops Marker Light. Play this. And then at that point, it's two cards, five mana, deal four damage to all enemy troops, and probably two to their uh, warlord. Unless you want to mark lighting your warlord too. But it's totally possible. Supremacy, another Omysus. Storm Surge, and a gun drone. Okay. Kadri uh, Fireblade is okay. Uh, cost six. I don't really feel like this ability is worth six, but his stat line is really good as a five seven. So he might slot into the deck, but uh, if there's like some kind of battles with base deck, I guess another Amisos. Cool. Seven packs left. Onslaught. We got our second Piranha. Definitely slot that in. Another Storm Surge. Right, sacrifice. Broken card. That's freaking common. Another Burgeoning Empire. Three Vacuum Sacrifices. Yeah. Type of Drone. Gun Drone. Stealth Drone. Another Epic. Cold Star Battle Suits. 4 melee, 8 range, 7 health, 7 cost, has flying, so 8 range being very good on that. Whenever you deploy, deploy a troop, you give it plus 2 health, and it does have companion to marker drones. So if you're able to play those marker drones because of cost reductions, they'll have 5 health, making them very hard to deal with. You want to marker light all your opponent's stuff. That might be like the only 7 I would drop. Uh, into the decks. These guys don't feel like they're really worth it. Especially because that epic is stupid. Another commander. And let's see. We got a priority target again. And that's it. Two left. 
We're gonna forge up some stuff and see if we get something else out of it too. We got another enforced battle suit. That's actually our third though. Because you get one for free in the big stack. So cool, but not really needed here. Final pack. We're already half. We pulled two legendaries. Padre Fireblade, a Crush Bodyguard, and a Razor Shark. So now we're gonna go to collection. Go to cards. Go to upgradable only. We're gonna upgrade some stuff. Let's see what the board gives us when we do. Alright, technological supremacy. Zephyr Grace. We're just going to upgrade everything that we can. Fire Warrior. Close to being upgrade, think being able to upgrade again. Stay with the Cool. Got some challenges. Actually, probably gonna be able to upgrade post onslaught. But we already made it. We made it three. So that's cool. Price battle suit. Fire ward. Upgrade to level two. All of our cards are gonna be a little bit cooler. So that's cool. Recon sweep. Price bodyguard. We haven't actually bought anything from the shop uh, in terms of crystal stuff. So pretty much everything is going to be able to just upgrade here to the next level. Breacher. Stealth. Yeah, you sacrifice. Level 3. Burgeoning Empire. And then lastly, the Storm Surge here. Upgradable cards. Nope. So then we can go to the Forge here. We got 5 rewards in the Forge. Get 2 boosters in that. Get Blackstone. Wild card. That. And we get the legendary wild card too. We're going to go to the shop. We're going to open two more packs of the Tao Empire here. Nothing great. Last pack then. And we got another four or five positions. And then. Just to check, we're gonna see if we can upgrade anything else. Nope. And that is where we're at. Next, we're gonna work on trying to build a deck with some of the cards that we pulled. And then we'll guess we'll do a deck profile video and some gameplay. So thank you for watching and seeing my awesome pack pulls here that we got. The Tau Empire, which we got Dark Strider here. We got Honored Ethereal. We already had an Experimental Drone, so we're already looking to have a very strong deck. We have two wild cards, so we could craft two of these as well. And if I were to craft, I'd probably craft either the on she and maybe Emergency Dispensation. Long Strike seems really powerful, but uh, he does cost eight. For the Greater Good could be really strong too. But these two would probably be the ones I would do. So a lot of people say Shadow Sun is pretty good. I still think the base hero, Omyces, is really good. Like, uh, especially if you have your experimental drones. You have shield to all your drones for the rest of the game. And then from then on, you can just make Vanguard drones that have shield. Which basically have to be damaged twice. Which is absolutely insane. Tau seems absolutely ridiculous. If they don't get balanced, then Wow. Uh, definitely going to have some fun, though, with what we got here. Thank you for watching, and please like, comment, subscribe. Peace.